and I was chasing it. I was chasing the dog, and uh, and um, I kept I, I I fell pretty pretty hard twice on the ice. Okay, so opponent has freely told us they're playing glimpse combo. So with that knowledge, I feel like I probably just mulligan this and maybe try to find Ranger Captain. Probably keep this double sentinel hand. Chances are pretty good against the sentinels, maybe. I think Team Eureka's best deck for new green and blue legendary lands. I really doubt that. I don't think that you play Boseju in Team Eureka because you're a counterspell Archmage's Charm deck. Um, I think that that card probably just doesn't go in the deck. But you do play a one copy of the blue land probably. <coughs> but it's even not free in that deck because you're really restricted on the number of blue lands you can play in your Ren and Six deck. And like you kind of think you kind of need four fetchable islands, so it's just tricky. Okay, well, uh, that is maybe game winning <laughs> if we get to cast it here. I don't know if we are going to. Okay, so I guess they have Violent Operas if they're not going to get a, a blue source here. <coughs> and they can respond to the, the Fury as well. But we can always win the, uh, the RNG. Of glimpse. We're also good to draw a couple cards. So if we draw a like solitude white card, we can maybe get them off of one permanent. We'd probably just try to exile like an omnath instead. Yeah, they were supposed to actually stack this so that the four damage happened right. And then responding to the evoke trigger with the cascade. So they they didn't they didn't actually need to give me these two cards. Yeah. Probably still losing though. Manic Endurance is kind of weird. I don't think. <coughs> Sorry. I was running out in the cold. My cough is like getting kind of gnarly. Is this beatable? I don't really feel like it is. No, they, they did mess up the stack. They could have dealt four damage, let Evoke Resolve last, and Violent Upburst. I'm going to pack it in. Okay, let's bring in the Silences, the Forge Tenders, the Feast and Famine. Cutting the Endings, the Maul, the Skyclaves, probably. I guess Flying can be good over, like, the, the Tokens. <coughs> probably Trim Fury. I'll, I'll cut them all. I'll cut them all. And then cut the Batter Skull. Thank you, Blinky. Um, let's mulligan the sand. Sand's very good. Let's keep this. Um, probably put back the sword of fire ice. <sighs> Although it's, yeah, I think we just put back the sword. Remember, Ranger Captain does beat the Cascade cards. Although if my opponent has caverns into turn three Cascade, Captain doesn't beat that. Did I mean to trim Fury? Uh, no, I meant to keep in Furies. Fury kills their. Their tokens early, which I think is more important. And both cards kill Omnath. I said trim fury because yeah, sorry. I, I meant to I meant I did mean to trim cut the solitude. Sorry, I just I just still need a little bit of time to catch my breath. Then here. I'm not sure what I'm getting. I feel like Calder plays the best round feast and famine. Or sorry, force of vigor. <coughs> okay, so Island definitely makes Blood Moon a lot worse. You need to go to the gym? I guess, buddy, but you need to fucking, you know, think before you type. Got him. Not really. It's kind of a rude comment, though. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm like, I'm, I'm out there running in slippers in the freezing cold, trying to catch a dog, falling really hard twice, just like, I don't know. People are just assholes. Why not moon here? They have island, which, um, I guess they need still need forest to cast their green cards, but Ranger Captain also stops their cascade, so I kind of feel like I wanted to get that in play, but maybe, um, maybe it was better to moon, you're right. They had Force Gender before Sentinel here. <coughs> okay, so that suspended glimpse is a big problem. I'm not sure exactly how we're gonna beat that. Um No block on one one, sorry, I missed that missed it. I guess I'll try to get it this time. <laughs> they, 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 I missed it, they missed it too. I think I'm gonna get the Feast and Famine going first because it helps with my uh, mana generation. I guess we need Silence or Ranger Captain. <coughs> or, I'm, or I'm just gonna lose. And I've got... I've got a few looks, especially because I have the Fire Ice Trigger 2 for next turn. I'm trying to think if there's anything I'll be able to hit off Ragavan next turn to stop the combo. I don't think so. I'm going to take this hat off, too. Sorry. Sorry, Hat Redeemer. <coughs> <coughs> they didn't get frisky with the red one drop because I've got the Feast and Famine. Dude, this cough is just getting worse and worse, too. Yeah, I could hit Fury. Oh, well, they had Force of Vigor, but no green card. It's kind of huge. <coughs> COVID, question mark, question mark, question mark. I just took a run in the ice is, is the cuff. I just had COVID, actually, like a month ago. Yeah, I, I might, I'll, I'll try to get a cup of tea going, something. Yeah, we have we need to draw silence or ranger captain. Um, it might be worth it to trade here just for one less permanent. Yeah, I'm probably willing to just trade, just get permanents off the field. Never confirmed it was COVID. I never tested positive, but me and Esther had the same symptoms and she tested positive. My test did come back negative, but <coughs> <coughs> I feel pretty confident it was COVID. We just we were both sick at the same time, had the same symptoms. Yeah, but I, I I will get some tea. I'll be I'll be okay though. Yeah, the false negatives, especially with the Omicron, from what I understand, are somewhat common. I mean, even like I don't know, maybe these like two permanents getting off the field don't matter that much. Okay, I missed on my first look at a Silencer Ranger Captain. I have one more look with the Fire Ice. Do I promise not to die? I mean, I'll die at some point, man. <coughs> this card, Chancellor of the Annex. Let's go! <coughs> Still dying over here, though. Fury helps, yeah, it's, but this, 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 I think gets the job done, huh? <coughs> I'm sorry, I figured that at some point you should be a Twitch streamer, yeah, I know. <coughs> oh man, okay, I'm gonna... After this game, I'm gonna I'm gonna boil some water. I promise. We'll get some tea. I'll check in on Esther, see how she's doing. Yeah, I have to, I have to use it uh, before this happens. <coughs> oh, good 18 months. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, we just lost playing for 5-0. But yeah, for those of you who haven't been here, we just lost playing for the 5-0, and at the beginning of the match. Uh, it was a really bad matchup of Red Black versus Naya. Uh, 
Esther, Esther said she found a stray dog. She was trying to help, and we burst into action, and I was, like, sprinting after, there after the dog. We tried to lure it with food. It wouldn't come to the food, so I was running after it. I fell really hard on the ice twice, and now I'm, like, coughing a lot because of the uh, running in the ice. So I'm going to click submit. I'm going to go get pour some water. Be back. But it still hasn't submitted, okay. Good timing, huh? Yeah, the dog is sadly still at large. We're gonna keep an eye out. See if it comes back. <coughs> Perk. Eight months is the dog saving anniversary. Yes, we saved a lot of dogs. Oh uh, yeah, Trepanation or yeah, tre Trepanation Blade is in the sideboard for the it's a great hand by the way. Um, is in the sideboard for the Belcher and Oopsal Spells matchups. Yeah, it was a pretty small dog. It wasn't super small. It was like this big. <coughs> it, looked, it looked very young. No, it's not my dog. It's just a stray dog. That uh, Esther, Esther very regularly helps find stray dogs and um, find, find their owner if they're missing or find them a home. She's really good about it. Um, and, and this this dog could have a home too, but I think it's unlikely with um, unlikely with it being so cold that anybody would like. I mean, I don't know. Dogs could still get out. Thank you, Jethro. <coughs> yes, she's great. Yeah, she's she's the kindest person I know. I you know I I say this from time to time. If you guys are ever looking to looking for a specific attribute in a partner, I would always recommend kindness over anything else. Okay, so they value the permanent in play more than um more than blocking the ragaman for a turn. I think that I'm not supposed to play the Ranger Captain because that's like pretty weak against Fury. Yeah, they have Violent Uppers, Fury, Land. Ranger Captain's kind of kind of soft here. Just keep the silence up for now. Have my Needle Spires arrived in mail. Needle Spires. <coughs> Does Athena like the snow? Um. She's kind of weird about it. Like, she sometimes, like, really likes the snow. And then sometimes she's, like... She, she'll, like, really need to go outside. Like, la last night she hadn't been outside for, like, ten hours or something. It was before I we went to bed. Usually she asked, but she just hadn't asked. And, um... I, like, I went to go walk her, and she's like... I don't want to go outside. But then, I walked her. And then she's like... Right after the walk, she's like, Okay, now I'd like to go on the balcony. I love it out there. So, she could be a bit weird about it. <coughs> well, they revealed 43 cards. So, they probably have at least one more glimpse of their hand. Maybe the other two are in the hand. Or, I guess this one's still in the deck, actually. Yeah, she, she's, hus she's a husky. Okay. Good draw. Yeah, he always has to have it on her terms. My butt still hurt? Yeah. My, like, thigh, too. I feel like I probably have, like, to be honest, a pretty gnarly bruise. A somewhat gnarly. I, I don't mean, I don't want to oversell it. Yeah, show bruise on Twitter. Maybe. I, it might, there might not be a bruise, even. <coughs> might be fine. Yeah, we have a giant killer in the sideboard. 
Lower back. Yeah, I think my lower back's my back's fine. Just all my my ass and ankles and thigh, so nothing important. This is that good in paper. I don't know why it would be good on Magic Online and not in paper. Yeah, let's get a uh, pro red sword in play to protect against Fury a little bit. <coughs> What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Yeah, the, uh, the sideboard's a bit different here. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay, Sean. I forgive you. Oh, didn't it come from the northeast, though? You're probably fine. What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. So them floating mana thing means they have another Cascader. Hard to beat three Cascaders, I guess. What are going to do? Hope to win the lottery. Although that is beatable, maybe. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Looks to be kind of beatable. They can have another Cascader pretty easy with all these draws, though. Yeah, if only, like, when you silence them, the Cascade spell got exiled permanently. No mana. No, they have three mana. They have two mana floating right now. Wait, they discarded Violent Outburst? What? They must not be- are they out of glimpses? No. <coughs> I think that they probably clicked okay. They can't choose a spiral- they can respond to the spiral trigger though with Violent Outburst. They had Violent Outburst in their hand, they have three mana, they can just respond. Yeah, they could be trying to high roll, but I feel like high rolling there is like... Foolish. Sorry for using the F word, but... I do feel that way. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I know this is supposed to be so gross to listen to. I'm gonna get the tea in a second. I'll probably take some kind of medicine too. Some cough syrup or something. Do not recommend ice runs unless it is to try to save a dog, in which case they're probably worth it. Is their hand really Force of Vigor green card? I think it is, unfortunately. Nothing else really makes sense with all these pauses, right? Oh, okay. I guess their hand could also be nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal them too so they can't fetch. Splash black in this list for Kroxa. It's not a very easy splash at all. It's also like you can't you lose Blood Moon. It's like yeah, it's not really a card you splash. All right, I think we're gonna win this game. Pretty exciting match. I really hope this video doesn't make it to YouTube because because <coughs> I'm just coughing the entire the entire match. <laughs> not great content. The small outside dog says, try to catch me now. The, it is also tagged this user What's with- What's up? It's me, your friend. Suspicious user, spike. monitored band evader, likely. But your username is very funny, so we'll let it slide. Yeah, I'll just do, I'll just do post commentary over the coughs. <laughs> Might have to if it's going to be the, uh... <laughs> it's going to be, uh... The record-breaking league. I also looked at my leg. It didn't look like it was bruised up. It was like a little red. Should be okay. Oh boy, goblins! <coughs> <coughs> and we actually get to draw a card off Sentinel, which is pretty lucky in this matchup, actually. Oh, I guess I, I guess I'm just gonna fervent champ. Dandy with Twitch Prime. I spend gifting up too. That's small. It's a dog. I really hope we find that dog. Or I hope someone. What's else up? Does, it's right? me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. <laughs> Gigi's Falcon. <laughs> What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. Do farts over the cough in post production? It's kind of a genius move. 
An aspiring dog catcher. Yeah, you kill the token here, I think. I think I think with the sort of fire ice going, you just want to play a more controlling game plan. <coughs> Especially with the solitude. The solitude means that um I it's gonna be really hard for me to be snoop comboed. And this is game one. I don't expect there to be trash master, so we should be in good shape. I'm not too scared of the prospector. Maybe I should be, but I'm, I don't think I'm not. Did you run fetches over the prismatic? Yeah, you, you can put in, any other white fetch. It just has to be a white one. I think the prismatics are better, but some people even disagree and think that the other white fetches are better. If they have another war marshal, that's okay too, I think. They have a snoop. And my opponent uh, doesn't know how the combo works, I guess. This is a black blocker, actually. Uh, the difference is Prismatic can get mounted, and I think your mana is, like, pretty good, so you don't really need, in my opinion. Um, like, the white fetch is to always get you a shock land when you want a red source. Yeah, so the, the, the Snoop needs haste in order for them to combo off here. Yeah, if they had main, <coughs> if they had main deck Trash Master, that would have been sick. Sorry, hot. He's, he's too hot. Um... So I guess their plan is to chump block and then make infinite snoops, but they don't have the harbinger anymore. Yeah, you do need the harbinger to go off. <coughs> but I could also maybe just go Solitude Harbinger, Sophie the the Snoop. But keeping a hold on the Solitude, like Okay, this oh I I, I can't um I guess I guess actually if I Prismatic getting the vial, it's like it's basically impossible to get combo killed with this sort of fire ice going. So let's try to go for that. Yeah, I tried actually I tried actually playing the uh, goblin combo with recruiter and vintage one time. I tried brewing Snoop combo and vintage with with uh, goblin recruiter. Uh, and uh, I quickly realized I didn't know enough about the format to like successfully brew in it. But I had a good time. I think I played against Yarvis for like the one or two matches I played, and he was like, "What are you?" He asked me what I was doing, and I was like, "I don't really know." Yeah, it didn't go very well, but it was fun. Like that was like really the only time I've ever tried to brew in Vintage. It was a long time ago too. Okay, so third ending. No Sentinels, two Forge Tinder. <coughs> um, I could play the Wear Tear, the Feast and Famine. One Sentinel. Probably the Feast and Famine. They didn't stack the Fizzle Sword trigger Triggers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people not, are not aware of that line. Yeah, Trepidation is for Oops and Belcher, which are hard matchups. Well, uh, uh, Oops is fine, but Belcher is hard. <coughs> um, I think I'm going to mulligan this. I think I really want to find a sword. Although, I think on 5 I keep, and then hope to find a sword or, or Stoneforge, and then I also have Ending for Vi, which is kind of nice. Reveal Mock Fanatic, play Mock Fanatic. Okay. Oh, whoops. Classic. Yeah, these should be Esper Sentinels. I think I'll wait. I think I'll wait. Real, <coughs> Real dumb guy, I feel like it, yeah. I feel like a real dumb guy. Thank you for your uh, your sub. Okay. So let's get the sort of fire ice. Unfortunately, they have the fanatics to deal with the champion. They might just double fanatic the Stoneforge Mystic though. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, Bloodman might not be that bad this game. Just cut them off black mana potentially. 
Okay, great. This is good. This is really good for me. How's Pawns in position? That's pretty hard to build. Um, it's probably okay, though. I, I wouldn't say that I would expect Pawns to be horrible or anything. A three, for, three for one, really, right? Two for zero. I think the same thing, I guess, or close to it. <coughs> so they get a ringleader. Let's just cast the sword this turn. Brick, 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 Adelphia. Brick, 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 Adelphia. I sucked all of the luck from all the collective goblin players out. That's how I got two trophies with it. I think Kamigawa comes out next Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon. Like right at the end of the trophy race. <laughs> But it says, I wish we could all run like aspiring Savike. Don't we all? So we're gonna get Cauldron to play around Trash Master. <coughs> Let's get another sword. If they got, if this like basically deals with Trash Master next turn, because if they have Trash Master, they have to sack, they probably sack both of their goblins. I guess they only need to kill one sword necessarily. Oh, they have the basic swamp naturally. Most excited card from you to brew with? Probably the, the black white uh, creature that returns vehicles from graveyard to play. Um, I got an initial draft done. And I, I'm going. To, we're. I'm going to do this uh, thing that Huey used to do on Channel Fireball, which is called uh, Brew and Review, where you you build a deck before it comes out, and then you talk about the ideas behind it, and then you like return to it for a different article later. So I've got a pretty exciting list for that put together. But I'm going to I'm going to tweak it a little bit more, finish the article tonight or tomorrow. I do really enjoy just like late night, uh, late night uh, writing. <clears throat> so we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I built a Mardu version, um, but I do think that there is possibly an Esper version with Dakin that's viable too. There's also like the Tinker for vehicle spell you can play in like a Dakin shell. There's also like obviously a lot of good blue artifact cards, so a lot of exciting op options to go. I just put I put the, I put the Mardu version together first, or like you know first draft of the Mardu version that is definitely going to require a lot of tuning. No trash master for you, opponent. You could not have one. Thoughts on cutting one ringleader for one pyre? I really like pyre. Um, like it is worse without ignoble. I do think pyre is really good. Um, that being said, I, I think that the deck is better off without it. I think that I, I think that you can't play less than three ringleaders. Ringleader is just too important in so many matchups. I even kind of feel like you might want to play the fourth ringleader for like blue eye control and omnath in the board, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's keep this. On against Luris decks, I like to lead on Sentinel on turn one. Um although against like non if my opponent didn't reveal Luris, I would play Ragavan usually. I think this this Stoneblade deck is great. We have a lot of trophies with it lately. Oh, it's Mill. Okay. Had a lot of trophies with this deck lately though. Um I don't think that the Ruin Crab is necessarily that scary here. I think I'll play the second Sentinel. Not gonna waste time attacking either. Because I could have attacked first, whatever. They block every time. We do still have the Emrakul on the board. I probably should have the Emrakul on the sideboard of Goblins too. Yeah, I think I think next time I play Goblins, I'll remind me to put the Emrakul in there. Because Mill seems to be back in a big way now. It's like a third time playing against it today. The Ragavan has a spot for color Armath. Well, it's been performing pretty well there. I I I obviously think it's like a fine option. It's not like adding Ragavan to any deck ever made it worse. Except for Burn, maybe. <laughs> I 
<coughs> Have you ever played Mill? I, I played everything. I played everything, man. I played everything, man. Oh, it's blue white. Yeah, you could test Ragavan and Goblins, but I don't know. I think it's probably better without it. You could play it. You could try it. It's obviously reasonable, right? <coughs> One's playing pretty slow. <clears throat> is, it, is this path to exile? Is it surgical pay for one? It is path to exile. And they're pathing Fervent Champion, not Ragavan, letting me draw two cards on my turn? <laughs> this is uh, not how I would have played this. I guess that they could Archive Trap me. So maybe I shouldn't have gotten, maybe I shouldn't have gotten the land because of Archive Trap. So I think it's probably okay. And they don't even have it, huh? Do they play KC out as legal? Um, <coughs> a little bit. Um, my uh, my friend Zach actually played KCI, though at the Team PT we played. And uh, he got second place at an SCG Invitational with KCI like the weekend before. And um, before every single round... Uh, one of our opponents would whisper into whoever Zach was playing against his ear, and then they would, and then his opponent would go, "I know," and then they would mulligan to a hand that was good against KCI. Okay, only hit ten cards with Tasha's. Yeah, Tasha's definitely not nearly as good against us. So yeah, we um, he didn't have he didn't have that great of a weekend, but uh, I did. <laughs> I had a pretty good uh, run that weekend. I was carrying the um carrying the team. That is what's rough about team tournaments. It's like you do like way better than your your teammates and you can't say it. You're not allowed to even like say it. <laughs> I I do really like team tournaments. I'm I'm playing a team tournament with Caleb uh, D uh next month. Excited for that. So I've got 18 cards in my library. I could get, I could lose to Atasha's. I still have the no the Batter Skull and the Cauldre are both gone, and so are like three Solitudes and one Fury. Yeah, so probably dead to Atasha's. I think Blue Black is the better Mill variant. It's obviously like somewhat close. Yeah, I think they just want to let me draw cards with Sentinel at this point. Wait, why are you paying now? Okay, weird. Okay, pay for one. Let me draw one. Plays an island. What can my opponent even have here? I don't know. Is this not lethal? This is five. Yeah, it's lethal if they don't have anything. They're obviously acting like they have something. Let's find out, I guess. Oh, sorry. I don't know why I grabbed these. Okay, I think we should bring in Evercool against Mill. <coughs> you should bring in the Feast and Famine too. Yeah, the event with Caleb is multi-format. Caleb is playing Sealed, and then I think Zach Allen is our third teammate. I've never, I'm really, I think better talk to Zach, but I'm sure he's a nice guy. Um, and he's playing uh, Legacy. I think I'll be 61 here. Silence is good against Tasha's? Not really, just like... If Silence was good against Tasha's, Silence would be good in every deck. It's just like card disadvantage. They just cast it next turn. Yeah, it is the energy. The energy in Chicago. Not really looking forward to the weather, to be honest, but it'll be a good time. When is the tier list dropping? Uh, whenever I drop it, we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, sealed being one of the limited formats is really weird. I agree, but 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. Apparently, Caleb was talking. He said Caleb apparently has like a really good sealed record too. Apparently, he's really good at sealed. No, it's de it's definitely sealed. <laughs> we had a, we had a little, or at least at least Caleb definitely thinks it's sealed. He's he's uh, apparently very good at the format. It'll be a good time. Never been to Chicago. Yeah, yeah, Caleb is good at everything. That's true. No, it's not Team Sealed. It's three different formats. I'm playing Modern. Zach's playing Legacy. Caleb's playing Sealed. I don't want to say, like, kind of like to play a different format. <laughs> but, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the Modern seat. Because that's all I've been playing for, like, the last two years now. But I, I think after the race, I'm going to dip my toes into different formats again. Be a good time. Does energy stay in North Midwest States? I have no idea. I'm not really very familiar with the tournament series, but I think that that's likely due in somewhat to the the fact that they, they probably do somewhat stay up there, right? But I'm, I'm not very familiar with them, to be honest. Yeah, I used to, yeah, I used to play some Legacy and Pioneer on stream. At that Pro Tour I was just talking about, I did play Legacy and uh, did pretty well too. Ant stream? Maybe. Yeah, the thing is, like, I'm really out of touch. Like, I don't really, like, I don't, I'm not super familiar with all the new tech for Ants, so it's like... I would, I would like, I would likely, you know, just like I do for most decks. For most decks, I just want to probably, for like the dipping my toes in, at first is going to be off stream. I don't like the idea of doing a stream where I don't feel like I'm an expert or I don't feel very knowledgeable about what I'm streaming. Like I, I, I would much prefer to continue to have this be a place where people can come and, and learn. You know what I mean? I think this, I feel like this deck has a pretty or a better time. Oh my gosh, these hands. A better time against like four color and, and like Tron and Titan than some of the other Ragavan variants. Um, it's, this, this deck is also good against opposing Ragavan decks too, usually. Just, I just like this deck a lot. Okay, um... So it really kind of boils down to putting back Fervent Champion, putting back Land, putting back Ranger Captain. I kind of like just putting back the Fervent Champion since I'm on the Mold of Five. Just, just keep, um... Just keep the two two-for-ones, right? Yeah, I think land is totally fine to put back too. Maybe playing the mirror. It, obviously, now that I drew land, I would have loved to keep the fervent champ. But if I draw a spell, I want to put back the fervent champ. That's the the fourteen months. Appreciate you. Okay, so not the seventy-five card mirror. Could be the Just Guy version, maybe. Probably something else. Probably Creativity, actually. Creativity matchup is fine. The Just Guy version definitely has a better Creativity matchup. Pretty sure I just sacked the captain here. <coughs> Hope they don't have a second ending. Drawing all lands here. You know, obviously I wish I hadn't put back the land. What can you do? Ragavan's not too bad if they have ending and the ending the champion. We could dash Ragavan equip. The ending the sword, it's a bit worse maybe. Why does this deck play DRC Bobble? That's like eight slots, and this deck that also doesn't have like many non-creatures beyond. You know, it doesn't have that many non-creatures to trigger to trigger DRC anyways. Well, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know why you would, to be honest. Okay. Bobble without Luris is shit. I mean, that's just not true. Murktide is like a great Bobble deck that doesn't play Luris.
No, they're, they're, they're just playing creativity. So they didn't get a token, so they probably don't have fetch land creativity in hand, huh? All right, got another removal spell. Dang it, so much removal. Okay. <coughs> probably better for us than creativity. Do you have a decent amount of good draws, including that one? Including that one. So it's actually a pretty tough call here to either kill the red and six or deal them two. I probably just kill the red and six because they're just they're dead to another attack. This could let them creativity x equals two if they don't have another fetch land in their hands. Great draw. Yeah, it can maybe hard cast college next turn. Uh, we are currently tied with the record. One trophy to beat the record. Yeah, maybe two damage to them is better because if they get one Archon triggered, they go up to they would they would go up to five and they'd have to block this. Imagine remand here, man. How likely do we feel remand is? Somewhat likely. Obviously, like Playing Cauldry here is better against um, instant speed removal spell. Opponent says GG's though. <coughs> okay, getting him one is a very big deal. So play, I think the the, the Fortune is usually okay. The Smash Up, they usually have some red removal, although we didn't see very much that game. Usually want to cut the Prismatic Endings, usually want to keep in the Blood Moons, cut them all the Skyclaves. And then you can, you can play Silence. Giant Killer is probably also fine. Fury's not that good, I guess. Could just put like one silence, maybe. Yeah, we'll just like we'll definitely play Lion Sash. <coughs> Probably try it out in the main deck first, maybe over the Maul of the Skyclaves. Maybe just, you know, over like a Fury or something. Is it true you put titan and play with, yeah i put an ember cool and play with uh aether vial on stream once it was uh, i was playing through the breach against humans and i stole their vial ticked it up to 15 um let's play let's play one fury i think i don't think i want the silence uh trepanation blade is for the belcher and oopsol spells matchup it's never come up but we just we just haven't played against those matches yet and Belcher's like this deck's one of the six hardest matchups, so I think that one card swinging, swinging things in your favor a lot is pretty worth it. So usually on the draw against Red and Six with this hand, I'll lead on Sentinel on turn one, so that if they go turn two Sentinel, I draw a card off the Red and Six being cast, and I can dash Ragavan kill the uh, kill the kill the Ren. So let's try to do that. I've had, no, 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 Lion Sash was my first ever preview card. Hey Itachi, how's it going? All right, it's all coming together. This is a really important sequencing to, to do, chat. A lot of people will just play Ragavan here. So, hopefully somebody learned today, huh? Yu-Gi-Oh! just streamed till 7. Yeah, a lot of people have been saying it's really good. I've never played Yu-Gi-Oh! though. Not that I'm necessarily opposed. Hmm... I think I should Ranger Captain here. If my opponent like fetches on their turn, we can sack Ranger Captain in response. Obviously, like either card gets back gets got by remand. And so if we if they're gonna remand something, we want them to remand the captain, so they might not play around Blood Moon so hard. <laughs> I trepidation bladed oops spell tree felt good. Yeah, I, th I think it's good enough. At least. Um, let's card a captain, I guess. So if we could draw a solitude, we're doing okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, we could also theoretically like dash ragavan hit to fairy or something. <coughs> this captain doesn't really do anything. That's probably the card that gets discarded. Yikes. Oh, I forgot about. The, I totally forgot about giant killer. I can't believe I forgot about giant killer. It just, it, Giant Killer doesn't come up that often. 
It it would also be too slow here. Like I mean, we could we could play the captain last turn, but I feel like we needed to moon maybe. Yeah, I totally forgot about giant killer though. Here we just need to find yeah, hit something off Ragavan. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, chat. Okay, uh, do you get to be able to play for game three, which is pretty important. I think we probably lose if we play the captain anyways, right? <sighs> just have all that mana available to them. Probably win the game if we win the die roll. Creativity is kind of hard to hate. Yeah, yeah, that's a big part of the strength of the deck is it doesn't, you know, it has some good cards against it. Like, Blood Moon is pretty good against them, but... I, I agree that they um, are somewhat resilient to hate cards. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. I do think Blood Moon on the play is very strong against them. And I know we don't have land number three in the in the hands. Maybe we can draw off the Esper Sentinel. Just play Cage. Yeah, Cage doesn't stop it, right? Because it, it goes to Exile first anyways, right? Yeah, a Cage is kind of dumb that it doesn't work against Living End and Creativity. Uh, Silence is for the Cascade deck, so then also Belcher. So they shocked in the Steam Vents. You have to expect that they're going to uh, bolt here. Let me draw a card. We save the dog. We couldn't catch it. Um, we're going to keep an eye out. Okay, shock, no spell. We're going to keep an eye out for the dog. Um, hopefully we'll be able to rescue it going forward. And maybe somebody else will scoop it. But maybe it's someone else's dog, right? But Let's me draw a card. Well, I'm going to say I'm a Blood Moon, I guess. They might have a spell pierce. Deal. I think I'll just play the second moon. Then I'll play Force of Vigor. Just take the, take the turn off. They got Hollow Moonlight too expensive? Uh, yeah. <coughs> Probably a Containment Priest instead, right? Yeah, I think they're just bluffing. <laughs> I'll uh, protect a Ragavan from a Lightning Bolt if they bolt. Attack first, though. That's fine. The team might not have a coughing after running cold since I talk all the time. Yeah, I know. I know. I know it's going to be rough. It's okay. I'll power through. I had, this, I had the same issue last time when I had COVID. Like, my symptoms weren't too bad, but I did have, like, that sore throat for a day. And I was coughing and, like... The nature of my job made it infinitely worse, to be honest, but it was okay. I got through it. I think I just want to cast Fury, second main. Maybe you should bolt them. Probably okay bolting them, playing Fervent Champion. Okay, one Blood Moon down. Okay. Well, the very last league we played... <coughs> the very last league we played, we had a lot of drama. We had a lot of intrigue. And we lost. Uh, and we here, again, find ourselves playing for the record. The very next league... For trophy 73. So let's get another prediction going. But I'm also 6. Okay, so it's the blue whites. Okay, so it could, it could be blue white hammer. It could be, um, it could be blue white affinity too. Sometimes you see if plays of midnight. It is the affinity deck. Hmm. Oh, 
Not sure how this matchup is. This is probably okay. I would imagine it's okay. Um, <coughs> probably get Cauldre here. Could get Maul. I already have the batter skull. I'll, gra I'll grab the Cauldre though. Hope they don't have a uh, portable hole. But if they do have a portable hole, I have ending. So it's not really so bad. Well, Saga is pretty good. So we find. Davin, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate you. Yeah, let's get the mall now. And there's five equipment, two lands. Might have to play somewhat defensively. Although I guess it's a big problem that my opponent has access to Aether Spellbomb. Okay, looks like they're thought casting again. Yeah, they can Aether Spellbomb my Cauldre tokens. So maybe playing defensively is... Oh, boy. What a rip. What a rip. Kind of free for the bean, some might say. Obviously not game over, but uh, great draw. You get smack for four, but they pass back without really doing anything else or even like pretending like they can do anything else. I think I just pass back two. I can't, I if I cast a sword here, I let them draw a card. Maybe letting them draw a card is fine though. It's like a lot more mana efficient. But I, I, th I think that, like, I don't think they have anything good in their hands, so I think just waiting is, is good. Oh, yeah, I forgot that my opponent also disconnected in the middle of all that drama. Oh, man. You just can't write that kind of stuff. It's what's so fun about streaming, right? You just can never predict when weird stuff like that's going to happen. They play a Batter Skull instead of no swing. I think I like getting the Cauldron play a bit more. Yeah, I kind of like Cauldra and then... Maul the Skyclaves, pay for Sentinel, attack for 7, and then Batter Skull on defense here. And then maybe equip the Batter Skull onto the Germ. Put Maul and Batter Skull. Yeah, I can do that too. I can't. I kind of like the surprise Batter Skull though, because we didn't tutor for this one. They could probably infer I have it though, because I didn't tutor for it. Yeah, it just concedes. Okay, winning game one is good. I I do typically advise winning game one. That's how I got so many trophies. Is I won a lot of game ones. I'm gonna bring in the third ending. All these wear tears too. And. Um, just need one more to break the record, huh? Pretty nerve-wracking. Um, probably want to trim like two sentinels. The mall is okay, but um, potentially trim. Well, maybe we trim a, a ranger captain, and maybe we trim a blood moon on the draw. Probably want all four on the play, but I think three on the draw is probably a better number. I think I like the furies. Maybe these are too many solitudes. I can see maybe trimming one solitude for the fourth captain. Yeah, Blood Moon was definitely a game-winning tactic there. Oh, thank you for 15 months. Appreciate you. Swords don't seem great with a lot of white artifact creatures. They're usually like, how to make your opponent chump block though, which is fine. The swords are also great in this deck, right? This is not like a usual sword deck. Drinking stream after the trophy. I don't know why everybody thinks I'm gonna uh, drink on stream. It's, it's, it's currently 12.30 p.m. here. Uh, which is like way too early for me. Everybody in my chat's uh, generous. <laughs> yeah, just in time for lunch, huh? Double Springleaf Drum. Would maybe consider ending a Springleaf Drum here if I... They only had one. I think we're getting called right here. Coin, thank you for three months. Appreciate you. Sub tutors for me. You can let tutors have a couple of trophies. <laughs> I'll allow it. I appreciate the uh, the sentiment, though. Okay, so we get to Blood Moon. Okay, they're thought casting. 
kind of figured they were going to portable hold me, to be honest. Definitely get a Blood Moon here. We have Ending for the token if we want, want it. Don't get them off blue mana. It really just kills the... Kills the Saga. But killing the Saga is pretty good. GG easy. Very scary to say something like GG easy. Last time someone in chat said that, we like... They got they top decked the last uh, Tron land. It was brutal. Okay. Take five is a lot of damage too. I do really like drawing a white card for Solitude here. Yeah, I think I think it's important to get them off of creatures in play. Here. It is possibly better to like make them spend the two mana on the Cauldra, but if they just like if they end up tapping the Springleaf Drum to Stoneforge Mystic, I feel like that's like probably bad enough for us. I'd like to try to avoid it. Yes. Five bucks, eighty. Fuck COVID. You want eighty trophies? Fuck COVID, indeed, though. The ice storm is probably gonna be pretty good for COVID in Texas though, because nobody's gonna leave their house. <laughs> Copium. Okay, they grabbed a portable hole. Cast it. On the Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. Because I mean that makes sense because I've got the cauldron hands. That was a, a phenomenal draw. Phenomenal draw. Let's try to kill their smith here real quick. Three dollar bills, the gifted sub. It's looking pretty damn good, chat. <laughs> Let's not celebrate a little too quickly here, but it's looking, um, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty damn good. Right, can't lose in some convoluted gateway, of course. Probably not to that. They just, this, this, they can tap this to the... Uh, yeah, they can tap this. Exiles the Fervent Champion, but then can go Cauldra, Sword Equip. Kill Stoneforge Mystic. I don't think I have lethal here, right? Don't think this is lethal, but they're chump blocking. Uh, I guess I attack with the fervent champion too because they have to chump block the cauldra. They just back it in. Let's go! <laughs> <coughs> I can't. I can't scream without coughing. I knew it was gonna come. Let's fucking What's go. What's up? It's me, your friend, oh, Aspiring Spike. <laughs> Seventy-three, baby. What the fuck? Look, Quincy with the hundred dollar donation. Thank you so much. Let's fucking go. 73, baby. Record breaker. 73? 73. 73. Woo! Woo! Let's go! I will be your voice. Thank you, Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> it's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff happening, huh? Oh man, Esther, you want to read out some of these? Start. You can start here and go up. Uh, La Quite mm -hmm. <laughs> has tipped a hundred dollars. Let's go. Thank you, La Quite. Um, what else? Rose Bill, stop. Not too serious. <laughs> Subscribed. You missed the, Wait, the five pack of subs. Go Snack Bandit 420. Thank you for the five pack. Um, you I just go. go. Up. Yeah, yeah. You use these with the, the subscription. It's not as easy as you think, chat. It's not as easy as you think to read these, alright? 
you get a lot of subs. It's just very difficult to read when people get throw money at you. Thank you for your seven months. Okay. Iron Pimp Hand. Thank you for your nine months. Mm -hmm. Up Quinn. The thousand bits. That's a hundred dollars. Wow. Thank you for the thousand bits. Spew Lord. You have to go faster because we're Spew Lord. Thank you for the five up. subs. Uh, <laughs> Uh, MWM Deadpool 23, okay, whatever. Uh, 100 bits, thank you. Super Falcon, 200 bits, thank you. CO42, 1000 bits, thank you. I do you. appreciate all this, but Gene it's also, Martin, it's a lot. Two bits, thank you. Lone, uh, oh, you wait, Tides, Tides 24, yeah. thank you for your prime subscription. Uh, Lawn Master, thank you for the five pack. I hack your pants, thank you for the prime. Sands of Blue, Sands Soul Guy, 778, thank you for your prime. Uh, Broken Rodeo, thank you for the 300 bits. Uh, we're, we're here, okay, sorry. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Co Cosca Deli, thank you for the five months. Um, SS Hearing, thank you for the five pack. The Star Man, thank you for the sub. Um, for your gifted sub. Uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Mark Chalice, thank you for the <coughs> nine months. Uh, Keska, thank you for four months. Toe Drum, thank you for the prime. Um, Brick Master Flex, thank you for the four months. J JK Toborg, thank you for the um, sub, the gifted sub. Hot Taunt Be Beast, thank you for the subscription. What's up? It's me, your um, friend, Aspiring Spike. Rob Duster, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Seize the Thought, thank you for the gifted sub. Uh, Very good, get through it. The, po the Theopolis, okay, Theopolis. <laughs> Subscribe, thank you for your prime. Um, Felix R, Felix R, da, whatever. Um, <laughs> thank you for your <laughs> stuff. This is exhausting. I know, it's okay. so difficult to be a streamer, huh? Something Tortoise. It's thank a you. skill set. Say, thank it's, you for your- This is a skill set. Thank you for the five, <laughs> five subs, five pack. Um, Lucksack, thank you for the subscription. Um, we get to change this to zero chat. Zero to break the all time record. Right now. Mesh, thank you for the seven dollars and thirty cents. That's a little bit less than minimum wage. <laughs> no, it's more. Seven forty. Seven twenty five. Twenty five? Oh. Yeah, it's, that, more. it's more than minimum wage, thank you. Um wait, fish na boo boo, thank you for the Hold on, you misread gifted one Red bit. Sven, thank you for the one bit. Yeah, How much is that? It's a one cent. Thank you for the one cent. <laughs> Uh, Uchiha37, thank you for the three months. Ja Jones, 94, thank you for the 25 cents. <laughs> 25 bits. Um, <laughs> Acolyte MTG, acid, acid, oh, whatever. Yeah, for the <laughs> five you, pack. Thank you for the five pack. Oil Thief. What's up? It's me, you your friend is You gotta keep up, you're going to <laughs> you were following Copies, behind. thank you for the three months. T Tenorca, thank you for 500 bits. Okay. Apex Predator. What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring yeah. Spike. D C C A W. It doesn't matter. It doesn't C matter if you mispronounce. They Thank don't mind. The they all, they, none of them mind Brick at all. Brick Top. What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. Thank you for the five pack. Blinky. Thank you for the ninety nine cents. <laughs> okay, you can skip the bits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait. Sod. What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. Two months. Uh, ben Gion. Thank you for the gifted sub. Brickmaster Flex. Oh, thank you for the uh, another five pack. Uh, C Calway, thank you for the gifted sub. Postboard Gaming, thank you for the ten pack. Postboard gives a lot of subs. Ten pack. It's too Woo much. Uh, no power. Blah blah. Uh, no power. No shower. Oh, <laughs> a thousand bits. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, wait. I'm skipping the. Oh, okay. Um, Mirai. Thank you for a subscription. Okay, you guys, you guys uh, gotta stop Lamna. gifting subs so we can get through this. Huh? Thank you for the 10 pack? This is enough. Ten. We're very rich. Wait, uh, ten no ten tech mon nom pet. Thank you for the 10 pack. Uh, islands are still rad. Thank you for the $10 tip. Um, Werberg. Right, we're almost gonna, we're almost gonna. Uh, B Rock, thank you for the gifted sub. Get this, Aggie get these bits. 16 yeah. has you get, you get six, six bits. bits. Thank you for the six cents. <laughs> Brickmaster Flex again. Thank you for the sub. Gifted sub. Soul Ring. Thank you for your seven months. Oblivion. Thank you for the <coughs> gifted sub. 
Uh, Gargantuan, thank you for the five pack. Red Spin, thank you for your five months. Okay, if we missed anybody, I really do apologize. I thank you everybody for being here uh, for all 73 trophies. And, okay, you know, oh, yeah. the time before that. Axe Jero, J Harold Jack. Thank you for the tier one. Thank you. Thank you, Esther, for being my voice while I'm coughing, so I didn't have to cough through that. I do appreciate you guys being here for this whole thing. It's been awesome. Race isn't over, of course. We have time to Finity rack up Rod, some more thank points. Thank you for your sub. Thank you for fun to get the sub. King Pison, thank you Sorry, for your Sorry, my stream is muted. Can I reread? Yeah, Esther, Esther can get right on that. Oh, no. Let's get to 100, oh boy. I mean, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. We're still going to be grinding. Specifically, no thank you to Shane. I'm not reading out any of Shane's donations or gifted subs. Yeah, we're not stopping the stream. We're gonna keep going. Tree Sam, thank you it's for only, your sub. We've only been going four hours. I'm gonna have four hour Infinity Andy. for fun. Thank you for your sub. Gifted What's up? It's me, your friend, yeah. Aspiring okay. Spike. Yeah, we could we can just play some more magic and relax and hang out. Speech? I don't have a speech. I'm confident struggling and. You uh, know. He already said a speech. The speech is. Fell on my ass earlier. Thank you to all the Pog Champs. You're all a Pog <laughs> Champ. <laughs> oh, <Lord. coughs> I kind of want to play more Stoneblade to be honest. I'm having a really good time with this deck. Everybody say thank you to Esther. Thank you. For uh, I have to go to work. all that you do. I have not oh, done yeah. any work. This you haven't morning. done any work today? Okay, I had a meeting. <laughs> just chase the dog around. A meeting that lasted 40 minutes past. It was a one hour 40 meeting. Okay, well, I wouldn't do any work either. And though. Athena was waiting to be taken out the whole time. <laughs> Poor baby. Poor baby. Okay. What oh yeah, there's the thing over there. I'd show you, but you see all my disgusting uh, trash all over the table if I yeah. if I showed you Athena. So that's a little too far. Yeah, I don't know what I did wrong. Okay. What did okay. I? What did I, I, I mess the camera up this bad. Whatever. Uh, Bin Paco with the five pack. Tartar, I think you get for the gift this up. Now we can just relax. This was nuts, huh? I, I wasn't sure we were going to get it today after losing at 4-0 oh, the last league. It feel really good that we got it. 73, baby. 73. <coughs> what a weird stream, huh?